Hey everyone, welcome back to the MedBros channel. So today what we're gonna do is a very exciting video and we are gonna be looking at some essay writing services. And what that is, is a service where somebody pays somebody else or a company to write them a letter or an essay or you know whatever it is that you need written for your classes, you would pay somebody and they would get it back to you. So we're gonna find out what's going on with this business. We're gonna ask them for an essay and we're gonna look at it. And we're gonna analyze, is it good, is it worth it? And then we're gonna talk about, is it ethical that we should even be doing this? The first step is going to be get on the website and we're gonna to put together the essay that we want and we're gonna see the pricing and how everything works. So let's get right into it. So the plan for today to keep it very interesting is we are gonna ask them for a medical school admission essay. So the website I already have pulled up here, I just Google essay writing service and we're gonna go with the first one that comes up at the top, which I assume is at least one of the top five that people are using and that's grade minor. Already, I don't want my personal information out here. I don't wanna be associated with any of this, this is just for the video. Um, so let's get into this and make this as anonymous as possible. <laughs> a lot of concerns with this come from uh, people getting essays from these sites, submitting them, and then the essays are put through a plagiarism checker and they're actually caught for plagiarism. So that is a big concern. Uh, I'm looking at this and they've already, you know, on their guarantees, they're already guaranteeing things like uh, plagiarism checks and uniqueness. So I, I assume this is a concern that they have ironed out somehow. Maybe they have their own checker that they put it through. Um, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out and we're gonna put it through our own little plagiarism check. So they're asking us a few parameters here um, before they calculate the price. The base price it looks like is $17.80 for just like a standard college essay. So for the instructions, let's keep it uh, very vague. Uh, volunteered at hospitals, shadowed ER doctors. What else do medical students do? I play the piano. <laughs> I, what else do they do? Okay guys, so we are done putting together all of that stuff on this Grade Miners website. We're gonna be asking them for a one page medical school admissions essay um, with pretty generic statistics, nothing really extraordinary happening with a student. A lot of people are in this boat. So we're gonna see, is this worth it? Is he worth it even to look at what they come up with for 24-ish dollars, the total is $24. Is it worth it to, to use this as a primary essay? I'm very excited to see this, so stay tuned for the rest of this video. I think that's done for what I'm shooting today, and then we're gonna skip ahead to when I get the essay and start analyzing it. Okay guys, we are back, and let's get right into this. I'm super excited to see what these writers have come up with, so let's get to it. So one thing to note is they actually got back to me in four days, so I purchased the essay, which I gave them seven days to do, and they got it to me a little early, so that is that is cool. I can see they give me a free revision that expires on March 11th. So throughout this entire process, I actually was not contacted by the writer to elaborate on anything or provide any additional information. Enough waiting, let's get right into what they gave me. <laughs> so interesting. Let's see, I'm, I'm really excited. All right, so an application essay. So since an early age, already kind of cliche in there, but we'll accept it. Since an early age, I have been intrigued by the biological functions of an organism. Okay, right off the bat, I can already, this is very, very insightful to me already because I don't know how many uh, essays start with a very similar pattern for medical school admissions. Even mine like started out like this for my rough drafts and it was since early age, I've been intrigued by something, you know, the human body, helping people, uh, you know, biology, et cetera, sciences, uh, already, I mean, they're going down that path, but let's see where they take it. The human body is a remarkable machine with many diverse systems and with the complex structure, which is a unique beauty. Wow, okay, made biology classes my major interest which instigated my enhancement. I feel like definitely there's a component of thesaurus.com going on here. This person is definitely um, definitely just typing in words on thesaurus and then picking the really difficult sounding words and then throwing it onto here. It's kind of very obvious. The school was the first place where I came to realize the importance of pursuing the calling and thus I was highly motivated to plunge in the atmosphere of medical sciences. 
All right, this is, this is a shaky start. For sure, this intro is a shaky start. Due to my experience, which includes red, call oh, here, they're actually using the stuff I gave them, which includes Red Cross missions, volunteering at hospitals, and at Asian Medical Students Association. <laughs> did they, wait, did I write that? Hold on, we have to look into this. What? AMSA, oh, and did they just Google AMSA? It's American Medical Student Association. They wrote Asian? Where did they even get that from? Maybe I told them I was Asian throughout. I don't remember what I put in here. I instigated a pragmatic approach to source.com and provided psychological support. Being an emergency... All right, things are starting to fall apart, guys. Things are starting to fall apart really fast and go downhill. Being an emergency room doctor, I implemented my knowledge to assist doctors in treating infections and injuries, performed follow-up visits, and created treatment plans. So any university is at its core, is a place to capitalize. Dude, like I know you probably just wrote this at like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or 12 a.m. Totally just, you know half-assing it on the side probably while watching tv or something like that like this is this is this is not good at all so okay guys so we have shaman on the line and he's going to go through and read what he thinks about this essay so go ahead shaman and just quickly give us your reaction to this amazing medical school application essay oh dear oh dear what is this <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable machine, generic, generic, generic. The school was the first place where I came to realize <laughs> the school. The it school. seems like it was made in five minutes. I know. Again, the school. Exactly, exactly what I said. The school, man. This oh. essay is about his school. This essay is even about medical school admissions. Crying template for a generic. I mean, I did write, I am a pretty generic student in the instructions. I paid 24 and I paid four, I think four or five extra dollars for getting an elite writer. Top writer. This is one of their top writers. <laughs> this is one of their top writers. I know, I know on the other end, it's like some seventh grader dude that just is about to go to sleep. It's like, oh shit. And another thing, hold on, I'm about to put it through a plagiarism checker as well. Oh, dude, it says here, I put it on Grammarly's plagiarism checker and it says plagiarism was detected. They, the word choice, the style, it's all, all highlighted under plagiarism. All right, there you have it, guys. So that was the analysis of this essay from me and Shaman. Beneath wouldn't answer, but I mean, she's gonna say the same thing. This is definitely a waste of your money and it's better to, you know, even put out something that is your subpar work rather than putting someone else's subpar work uh, out front. And even if it was the best writer in the world, it's still better. And I would say you might even get better grades if you write a more inferior essay, but it's coming from your thoughts and your mind and your writing style. Uh, it's gonna show and it's gonna just be a better piece of work. I just wanted to look at what kind of essay we would get back because you do see these companies kind of really growing and uh, being advertised everywhere. There are so many of them and there are a lot of users. There are a lot of people out there using these uh, services. So be cautious, stay away from these services. As you can clearly see, that was a trash essay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like and share the videos. And there's a lot of other helpful videos out on the channel. So make sure if you're new, you check those out. And we will see you guys in the next one.